So I got you, Queen. Yes. Okay, you said the question was you wanted me to um let you know who I reached out to. So I want to know parts of the homework that you did, and I want to know the parts that you didn't do. I want you to be honest about the ones you did, and I want you to be honest about the ones you didn't do. Okay, so I reached out to only one person so far, and um, the homework that I did do, I made my flyer, um, and well, I did everything. The only thing that I just didn't do was the um, reaching out to three people. I just reached out to one. All right. I understand that. Um, I respect it too, but let me ask you a question because right now you're getting straight to it. You're on accountability code and you're getting to it. I don't know if you're getting paid to do that service, but you're doing the I service. Know. You're doing it. Um, <laughs> so I want to build with you real fast. Tell me why you didn't reach out to the other people. Um, Just in my... Well, uh, I, I made a post on Facebook, but and I was supposed to. It just kind of like outside stuff, like my daughter getting my daughter together kind of like played a part, but I guess it's not really a real reason either, but you know, that's why. I okay, like I like this. How explicit can I be with you? And look, everybody, when we go through this, this is about accountability, y'all. This is not about giving y'all fluff. This is looking at your life and seeing, okay, the way you do one thing is how you do everything. Let's create a workable situation so that way you can get the result that you want in the time that you need to have it in, right? So that's what this is. How explicit can I be with you, Queen? You can be explicit. Thank you, and I appreciate that. Thank you for allowing me to, to build with you that way. I, 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 want, I want you to really look at something. Like, Ramel came on here and he asked. He said, my bad. I know I keep calling you Ramel, Melo. It's just... <laughs> I just keep getting caught up in that. Bro. <laughs> so look, uh, Bella came up here and he asked you, he said, if I gave you $5 million to be on this call, would you be on this call at seven or whatever the case may be? I want to ask you that question. If we told you to reach out to three people and while you reaching out to three people, every person that you reach out to, if you get the three people, you're going to get a million dollars for each of those people. Would you, would you have reached out to three people or not? Yes. So, so your daughter plays a role in that, or you just using her as a scapegoat in, in the moment? Yeah, using her as an escape. <laughs> right, right. Is that fair to her? No. Right. Now, is she listening to that? Is she around listening to that? Oh, she in school. All right, cool. Because if she was around listening to that, you might not even have thought that she was listening to it. You probably said that now, and she internalized that, and now she grows up the rest of her life not wanting to be a burden of people. So she never yeah. speaks out. So she never goes out and be the person she needs to be all because of that one thing that you said that really wasn't even accurate. You just said it in a moment because you just wanted to just say it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. How would that make you feel if that if you had to look back at that and she told you, yeah, mom, I remember this one day you was on this accountability call with this amazing person named Sean Kume. Uh, I think I think he went by mindset mogul. He was so handsome. But anyway, besides that, um, you had said one time on a call that it was because of me that she that that you know that you couldn't get what you needed and now I made you miss a million dollars. She doesn't know the context of it. She just heard the million dollars. I made you miss a million dollars and now this is why we broke my up. Uh, it is all my fault. It, what if she said that to you? How would you feel? Yeah, it would hurt because I do try to watch what I say around her and to her. So I would be thinking, like, it didn't make sense. Yeah. Right. So you you do you doing your work is more important than you not doing your work. You right. doing your work is so important. It's important to the people around you. You doing your work is so important that look, you are setting a, you are setting a trend for your your daughter to follow. Follow. Mm -hmm. So who who do you want to be? Do you want to be that person where your daughter hangs your picture up on the wall? Do you, I, I, look, I don't rock with the school system. I, no disrespect. I, I mean, look, I like the school. Mm -hmm. I, I can't I can't pretend like I like the school. Let me stop it. Like, I don't really like the school. I like learning. Right mm -hmm. and. In school, they ask you, give us one of your, your your superheroes or your characters that you love or somebody that you love inside Black History Month or whatever they be saying, right? Um, and then the kids would go to somebody that's on TV. Not one time, well, maybe one time I did. There was this one girl, you could tell that they had a close family, the way that they were operating. Parents would always be at the school and stuff. And she said her mom, but that was the only time. I've never heard anybody else said their family members. Mm -hmm. Are you being that person? See, that's when we talk about accountability. I need you to be that person, Queen Brittany. You got this. Everything inside of you. Like, there's a you inside of you that you haven't even met yet. Right. If y'all resonate with what I'm saying, drop the mm in the chat. 
There's a you inside of you that you haven't even met. Yet. And you need to bring that person out. It ain't just for you. You talk about you love your daughter, but love your daughter enough that you will love yourself enough to do the things you need to do in order to get the life you want. When we ask you to, to reach out to three people, there's a reason why we're asking. Because when you reach out to that one person, is that one person going to be the one all fit, fits everything? No. Is that one person going to be the one that take you to the next level? You don't know. So if you don't know, then you have to do what you need to do in order to get what you want by pushing the, the boundaries. So when we ask you for three, you give us six. You give us six. When we ask you for three, you go double them. You go double the mouth. You got to go extra. In this game, in this life, you got to go extra. Everybody drop extra in the chat. I'm not yelling at you, queen. I'm just putting emphasis on it because people are watching it. So yeah. some of the people that's in the back, I want to wake them up a little bit. They got the cameras off. You got your camera on and you doing work and you showing up. That's a level of commitment. I'm sending you a lot of love and beautiful energy, queen, because you're doing something that nobody else would do right now. Clap it up and snap it up for yourself, queen. Yeah, coach. Also, too, Brittany, I want you to drop your cash up. We're going to send you some money so you go get lunch. You and your daughter, you want you to take your daughter out, get some lunch today. Just for being the first, right? Mm -hmm. To being the first and, and showing up and taking this accountability the right way because this is an uncomfortable space to be in. But yeah. it's what we actually need. So drop your cash out. We're going to grab that for you. Sunshine, whoever, grab it. Um, and we're going to send you some. But keep going, coach. Keep going. Okay, thank hey, you. 100%. Everybody send Brittany some love in the chat. Like, it, it's, I'm telling y'all, this ain't the hot seat. The real, the real hot seat is being broke with no solutions. Mm -hmm. The real hot seat is looking at your kids. Is my camera, like, really blurry? Hold on, y'all. You good, bro. You good. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. It look blurry to me, man. Don't be having me up here blurry, brother. Hold <laughs> yeah. on. Hold on, man. Nah, I'm blurry. You're good. Y'all yeah, saw my throne chair in the back. Y'all saw that. All right, cool. Anyway, so look. <laughs> so I'm going to do a, a shameless plug right now. If you're not following me, follow me right now on Instagram or YouTube, whatever. Mindset Mogul Crew. Mindset.mogul.crew. That's how you're going to get to the real me, the real version. There's a lot of fake pages, but I only have two pages. But the, the way to get to me so you understand that you're not dealing with any fakes, you can get to my other page by going to this page first, mindset.mogul.crew, and we will be giving away some giveaways, some cash prizes and other things like that. Um, also, there's a lot of people who got some cash prizes yesterday. We won't touch on that. But right now, we're getting back to the accountability. Just wanted to you know, segue through my little commercial in it. All right, cool. Who's up next, Queen? I'm just loving this name, Queen Sweet Jane Jones. Come talk to us. Ooh, that's alignment right there. Because Sweet Jane Jones, I think Sweet Jane Jones was somebody who got one of those cash apps. From yesterday. Let me see. <laughs> so I'm old school. Um, I love UGK Pimp C. So his name was Sweet J <laughs> Sweet James Jones. So I'm Sweet Jane Jones. <laughs> Shout out to Sweet Jane Jones. <laughs> um, yeah, I was one of the people with, with the Cash App because you had me so confused with them pages. I'm thinking I'm sp uh, getting spammed and stuff. <laughs> but um. No, hold so, on, hold uh, on, Queen. Uh, Don't be blaming it on me now. I told y'all which one I'm at. <laughs> Don't you dare try to blame it on me and try to pull me up my accountability card. I'm like, screen, your screensaver say the dots. And then this one, I'm like, okay, I don't know which one. So I just tagged both of them. I was like, we'll figure it out. So when you respond, <laughs> I was like, we can figure it out. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, so the accountability homework um, from yesterday uh, was, you know, connecting with three people, um, I did not go live yesterday. I had a crazy day, but I actually connected with a few on Telegram as well as um, Facebook, um, went through some credit stuff um, like bankruptcies, um, just connecting with people like where they are in their business. Um, so not necessarily building a partnership yet, but just getting to know people because, you know, you want to. You want to, if you're going to build a partnership, you want to be with the right people. Um, so, you know, you got to fill people out, connect with them, talk to them, you know, see where they're at. Um, and from there, you know, once I see where, you know, people are, if you're, you know, aligned with me and we're both in alignment, then we'll build partnerships from there. But right now, just getting to know people, see, you know, where headspaces are. Um, I'm big on motivation. I'm in the chat every day. Um, yesterday was a tough day for me, so I wasn't as present um, throughout the day in the groups like I normally am, but we back at it today. Okay. All right. Everybody since we Jane some love, right? So what I want to yeah. ask you real fast, I want to kind of calculate your student efficiency rating right now in real time. Boone asked y'all on, on Sunday, he said, yo, make this your screensaver. Did you make the screensaver your screensaver? Yes, I posted in the Facebook, so I created um the screen, the lock screen, as well as I changed my background to outwork everybody. So I did the yeah, ROI. I mean, 
I'm loving that. I want I want to keep going through. I want to keep going through. Did you apply for I the created, Alliance Credit Union? No, so I'm not. My credit is not necessarily where I need it to be. Uh, I'm right below it. I'm at a 670. Um, so I'm I got a couple inquiries to remove. Um, I'm also working on a couple of negative items. So I'm doing it all at once, but I actually have fraud on my account. So I'm going through the whole fraud process right now. Okay, so Smitty, Smitty really mentioned people that's on the 650 or whatever to go check your credit, pull your credit. But still, anybody in this area, I want you to be able to pull your credit and make sure you're looking at items that need to be removed, right? So you just mentioned that. So you you are aware of some things. So I'm going to just go to what Ramel asked. And this is just all, all from Sunday's work. Right. So that's two days that we had to get this stuff done. I just want to check in. Um, now, when it comes to your time tracking, have you tracked your time? Did you see where your time goes? No, I did not do my time tracking yet. That was supposed to start yesterday. Um, I did not do it. Like I said, I had a very tough day yesterday. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm always accountable for myself. I'm very self-aware. Um, I never think of anything as a negative. It's always an opportunity for growth. Um, so yesterday, I, I'm a single mother. Um, child's father it was an abusive relationship so it's rocky there um and right now my big focus is just learning i'm um, growing my business right now so i actually quit my nine to five um i've made such a cushion for myself i have a huge savings um but i was like now, now is the time um so i did not track my time but i can tell you where my time went so like literally from 8 30 yesterday like i got up at 8 15 and then hopped on the call um so for, until we got off this call, then I made myself breakfast. Like, I, I know where all my time is. I'm OCD. Hold on, Quinn. Hold on. <laughs> like, I'm super how, OCD. Hold on, Quinn. How, how explicit can I be with you? Because I, I want to oh, allow you, you, you to continue, you. but I heard enough. You know what I'm saying? I heard enough. How explicit can I be with you? You super? can be extremely right, cool. explicit. Like, keep it real with me. Okay. First of all, I really love the fact that you, um, you showed up here on camera and you actually are getting things done and, and you know you have an awareness of well, what your credit is looking like. I, I love the fact that you did reach out to people. I, I'm loving your energy. I'm loving the fact you went into uh, the Facebook group and you're doing the things that we asked you to do. I just want to, you know, have you look at something. So I could be explicit with you right all the way through. Yeah. Okay. Keep it real. So when you get to a certain stage in life and you're going to have all of this money, because you will be successful. Claim that right now. Say, I will be powerful. I am powerful oh, I right be. now. It's 100%. You're going to continuously be. But you're going to have issues that money can't solve. Exactly. And, and yeah. right now, I'm hearing something that you're speaking of as an issue that money won't ever solve. So no matter where you are in life, if you don't get a hold of this now, this will get a hold of you. And it will stop your finances. It will put you in a place where you feel like you can't move. Do, do you believe that things get worse over time? Yeah, unless you change so, your mindset and do something about it. So in this situation, right, and this is not attacking you. I'm just talking because we're in a group setting, so there might be some other people that can get value from this as well. So don't feel attacked. Don't feel like I'm coming at you personally. I am talking to you, but I'm not talking at you, right? So when we when we create these stories, everything that's happening in our minds is created by a story. It's created by a story. So what I'm hearing is that part of your story needs a little attention. And the attention of part of your story is understanding that regardless, regardless of what happens in your life, you still got to show up the best. And what you did was not show up the best. Am I, am I just overreaching or is that actually Oh, what no, no, no. So right now, what I'm doing is trying to take my power back. So the last six years, I let my, I let my power go. Um, I... I was a yes man. Um, I didn't set boundaries. So I'm in the stage of my life where I am learning to set boundaries again, letting go of trauma, um, really learning to love myself again. Like who I was six years ago, that ain't who I am right now. Um, but, but like you said yesterday, you know, you're not where you where you used to be. You're not there now. So like even if you take three steps forward and then have to take a step back, you're still not where you used to be. So I feel like I did that. I took 10 steps forward in my life. Uh, and then all of a sudden I took five steps back, but I'm still not where I used to be regardless. So I'm just in the point of regaining my power back and joining this conference. It was like the confirmation I needed for everything. This is actually helping me, um, you know, hearing the empowerment in the groups, how, you know, everyone's 
is so positive and speaking power. Like I, I normally don't talk. I don't, I'm extremely private. Um, I don't tell my story. Um, but like y'all said, you know, this is a judgment free zone and I feel like I'm comfortable enough to be able to share. So, you know, I, I, I've had some downfalls in the last couple of years and I'm really just trying to gain my power back. Um, and I'm close, I'm close. We almost there, but you know, some days are a struggle and yesterday was a struggle for me. So today it ain't a struggle. 100%. If you look at the chat, you'll just see the love and support that you have. Right? I just want you to cry. To, like... I want you to cry. And Melo probably somewhere texting no, me right now. Too no, G for that. I can't cry. I can't cry. No, you can't cry. That. Here's why you can't cry. And you should cry. Here's why you should cry. Crying is because like taking your soul to the laundromat. <laughs> 100%, 100%. It's, we're like plants, right? And when you cry, you water yourself. And what happens when you water yourself? You grow. So when you cry, you're just going to grow. See, when I talked about you're not where you used to be, like when you're not where you want to be, you're right where you need to be because you're not where you used to be. Like when I say this stuff, this, this is meaningful. I want you to release anything that's pulling you down because... Queen, to be honest, what I was feeling and what was actually being demonstrated, there's a resistance there. But what, what's the resistance that you're feeling in your life right now? Because it's not the money. Like, money is not the issue. It's, it's, it's not it's the money the at all. Somewhere. So what's the resistance that's causing you to not be 100%? Because I'm only talking about the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation was you were being 100% on that day. And any day you're not being 100%, what happens is you cannot reach your goals at the maximum potential. It doesn't mean that every day you're going to be at 100%. So I, let's make sure that we understand that. But we want to be able to pull each other up so that way we can have beautiful experiences. So that's what I'm doing right now. So what is the resistance piece that is there for you, Queen? What's, what are you resisting? So, because so you, is you, you spoke on something earlier um, with Brittany in regards to, um, you know, what she's, you know, a comment she made and having her daughter over here and then, you know, she grew up. So I have childhood trauma that um, I, I tell myself all the time, I've let it go. I've forgiven, you know, and unconsciously it surfaces. Um, I remember being blamed. I'm the oldest. My mom is the oldest of seven. I'm the oldest grandchild. Um, so I remember just being blamed for so much. And there are days where unconsciously that surface, um, like I said, I, and I'm at the point of trying to gain my power back. Um, my mother is one that, like, I'm at the point where, you know, regardless if, you know, their family, blood, whatever, I, I'm trying to release all toxicity in my life. So I've had to cut my mother off. Um, so I'm I'm trying to release these things. Um, I don't know how. <laughs> um, I don't have a problem going to therapy. It's just I can't afford it right now. I'm, I'm investing in myself in different ways, and this – this course I invested in myself, you know, um, therapy, we don't get there, but I'm doing self therapy. I go and, you know, connect with myself, put my feet in the grass, ground with the earth. I journal every day, um, get my thoughts out on paper, you know, just to release it. But I know I do. 